since 1953, 240 million appliances just like these have come off the GE appliance assembly lines in Louisville. 70 years later, the company is still one of the state's leaders in economic impact. Well, I mean, it's innovation of product. So if you think about what this whole campus has done, what GE Appliance has done, is bring innovation. Peter Pape, vice president of closed care for GE Appliances, says that's how the company is able to bring in $7.4 in GDP annually for the state of Kentucky. So if you think about the first self-clean oven, uh, a refrigerator that, make, that brews coffee, a washing machine that has Alexa on board that can be your laundry assistant. Things you would have never thought about if you look back 70 years. In 1953, the first appliance made at the Louisville plant was a dryer, something that's still being made here today. They're basically putting the guts of it in. They're putting the motor and the, the heating element and hooking up some wires and basically just the guts of the dryer that keep it going. Jennifer Brown has been with GE Appliances since 2007. Now she's a team lead for her line and helped design it herself. There is a lot to it, a lot more than I realized being just an assembly worker. I mean, detail from the bottom up, where screws go, what jobs can work with what jobs, and who needs to do this. Brown is one of 8,500 employees in Louisville's GE Appliance Park. And Pape says they'll continue to be one of the city's biggest employers. You look at the investment that we've made in this business, almost $2 billion across GE Appliances uh, in the last six or seven years, $800 million here alone at Appliance Park. That's all about growing products. Our innovation has let us grow in the marketplace. We continue to get better, and we have plans to continue to invest. Addie Miners, WLKY News.